Continuing on with linear perspective, one of the things that I wanted to talk about was insets. Um, and for now, we'll talk about insets in one point, and then we'll do some stuff in two point. So um, let's just create a plane. We'll make this plane kind of big. And remember, a plane is really just a triangle with a point at the vanishing point. Okay, so we've created a plane. Now, let's say that we wanted to put a doorway in here. We can go in there and we'll make this doorway kind of big. Make the doorway back towards the vanishing point. Drop our vertical. Now, because we're working in, in uh, one point perspective, we've got our, our horizontal lines we're gonna enter back in, right? So. To make this doorway look like a doorway, what we need to do is actually inset that just a little bit, because the doorway is going to is going to um, actually be not on the surface of the wall. Door, doors are usually set back into the wall. Same with windows, right? So we can pull a little horizontal out, and then we can create that inset, right? Then, because we've created an inset, we now have to go back in perspective and run that line back to the vanishing point. So now we've created an inset door frame. So when we go back and re-emphasize this, we've got our outer bit of the building. And we've got our inset for the door. Okay. Now, one of the things that's going to be funny is if you wanted to find the center of the door, right, you could create your X method subdivision, right, and you would create your horizontal line. But if you do the X method subdivision off of the front panel, you have to inset that X method subdivision. So you have to go back horizontally, and then that will enable you to find the actual center of the door itself as it sets back inside the frame, right? So one of the nice things that insets do is that they change the outer contour, right? So now, instead of the contour of the building being a very basic triangle, right? The little door here, we now have a contour that goes along the bottom it goes up, it goes back over, it goes over again, and over. So our contour is now broken up. And whenever we break up that contour, it creates something just a little more interesting and a little bit more unique to the building. Now, this stuff um, happens with your, um, with your windows as well. So if you want to put a window up here, right? Let's just say we're pulling right here randomly. The window. We go towards the vanishing point, towards the vanishing point, drop another vertical, then we inset, right? Then we go vertical on the inset and towards the vanishing point again. So now we create our window inset, then we can go back with our top layer. Say boom, boom, boom. Then we insert our window. And remember, if we want to find our X in the middle of the window, we have to then go ahead and set it, set it back. So we take this distance and transpose it back. That'll be the vertical part, part of the window. We take this, translate it back, and that's going to be the inside horizontal part. So here we've created our inset window. The other thing that you're going to need to be able to do is do um, outsets. So if we take another plane over here, create another vertical guy. What happens when we want to take 
say, like create a little box awning or something like that. Right? So we've got our door frame here, which will be emphasized in even construction line shape. Let's say we want to put an awning over it. What we can do is we can draw a pattern of this awning onto the building, right? Then we can outset the awning. So we're pulling this out. Vanishing point out. There, there, there. Connecting it. Then we go in and we re emphasize what we've drawn out. So this awning is going to be hollow, so the awning is only going to be thick. So we've created this box. So we sort of paste it on there and outset. So if you can do outset and you can do inset and you can juggle these planes and then you can take these planes and put sides on them, then you can do everything that you want in uh, one or two point perspective, right? If you do two point perspective, this inset and outset uh, is going to change slightly because instead of using uh, horizontals, you're going to use diagonals and we'll go over that next.